right? We're on a desert. We run a couple of weeks. We're getting uh, used to it anymore, you know, uh, getting hardships, hardships. Right? Then that took sick, some kind of fever from the sun, uh, fever or malaria or whatever. He was sick and shaking this and that. So he couldn't walk anymore. So we had the wagon, our bundle in there. We were paying so much, you know, a few cents. So we told, put our father in the wagon too. He can't walk anymore. So we paid for him. and. And this went on every night. We go and get him. We get together. We buy something we eat together, a piece of bread or something, right? Nothing warm, not, nothing cooking. And then, uh, then in the morning, I take him to the wagon again, put him on the wagon. He go he had a nice coat with a fur lining. We put that on him because he was he had the children that under the sun. Anyway, so one day, a uh, younger boy my age comes says. Uh, 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 but Julian, dad must have told him that they, they, they take him away, they're going to kill him, you know. Mm -hmm. They took his clothes off and things like that, took the belonging. So his father was with uh, our dad too. So he came and told us that your dad and my dad, he says that wagon that we had hired, he, see those wagons, they should start from one town, get the passengers, and go on to ne ne next town. Mm -hmm. And then from there, they exchange with another wagon man, he go back to his own town because he doesn't want to go all the way to okay. far away. So we're changing wagons all the time and eventually for, for that we put him on a, on a horse. The horse uh, man doesn't go anymore so we got the wagon. Anyway, so we hear the father died or they killed him, they took long, you know, no sign of him anymore. We lost him like that and shortly after that, another week or so, we ran the world. Mother took sick. We were young, we could bear it, I guess. So whatever mother had extra bread, she would give it to us, or she buy a can of milk, give it to sister and me. They don't, they don't drink it themselves. And then, uh, so mother was sick. So this went on and on and on. Every now and then they come and ask for uh, young girls. As a slave, take them home for a maid, you know, whatever it is. Or some of them they marry with the Turks. And then. Uh, Mother said, no, 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 no. And then I happened to, they tell me this after, that I, I happened to, my legs were swollen, I'm hungry and exhausted, the heat and everything. And I had said that, gee, I wish I was a girl, so they'll, they'll ask, they'll take me away too. Because we you know when they take you away, they, they take you as a slave. They will mm -hmm. not going to kill you. They kill you, they kill you right there. Yeah. They'll take you as a, to make their own, see? So, uh, mother is sick now, she's not herself, so another two policemen come, two gendarmes come, no, civilians, two, civ two Arabs with the horseback, they're shopping around, you know, they see somebody, a young girl or a young woman, you know, want to come with us, yes, no. So they, uh, uh, they ask uh, mother again, and then uh, mother said no to sister, and they said, okay, we take the boy too. Or I don't know, maybe mother said, if you take him what, we can yeah. have one. So uh, they asked about me, you know, and mother couldn't answer. You know, she, she didn't know what was going right. on. Delirious. She, yeah, she couldn't say nothing. So they, they took that as an answer, yes, you know. So they grabbed me, put back of the horse, sister, back of the horse, away we go. You know, no goodbye, no nothing. Just. Mm -hmm one of those things, like a nightmare. And then uh, we go, and then, uh, I slept in the back. When they carry a passenger, they put them on the back of the horse together, uh -huh. you know. So sister and me were two together. We never seen each other anymore. So next thing I know, I woke up. Who was, didn't you see anymore? You didn't see your mother for a while? Yeah, we are gone for, okay. a, for a ride. Okay. Mother's with the group. No goodbye, no nothing. You know, and just one of those things. And then we, next thing I know, I woke up, I'm laying in a, in a, some kind of a Arab tent, you know. And then uh, I look up, there's a bunch of Arabs around me, and I remember the man that took me, you know, the one that uh, mm -hmm. took me in his back. And he, he's saying in a language, sorry, that's my boy, that's my boy, you know, to them, that uh, everybody looking, what was what, what's this? So anyway, uh, they had brought a soup, tried to feed me, I couldn't eat from exhaustion, you know, resting and anything. 
and I see they had the water, salty water on my feet, they were all blistered, mm -hmm. things like that. So, <coughs> a few days like that. They tried to nurse you back. Yeah, nurse you back. And then this guy didn't have, didn't have a son, and his sister wanted to be sister. She had all parents that they, they were invalid, they'd be taken care of. So they want this girl to take care of that, see? So luckily they took us both. They and were then, neighbors. Neighbors, yeah, they were neighbors down, down the street, a couple of blocks. And then, uh, uh, so then I, I come to myself when I try to tell him, I know him now, he's my man, you know. He said, well, where's my... My sister. My sister, I'm you not know, saying Turkish or uh, Armenian. Where's my quitting this and that? He understood, you know. Who, mm -hmm. where, I'll take you, I'll take you, you know, like that. So after uh, a few days, a few, few weeks, uh, when I give me some jobs to do, clean the house and this and that, and so over there when they cook, they burn uh, cow, cow manure. They have no wood, uh, nothing. It's a small town where I was, Tlafar. And somebody had to sit and feed that fire, keep the pilaf uh, cooking. Mm -hmm. So I used to do that, you know, any, 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 any labor. So after uh, a few weeks, whenever it was, uh, I kept saying every now and then, how about my sister? Can I see my sister? Uh, well, but we'll take care of it. We'll tell, take care of it. So one day we go, sister's house, two old couple, man is laying down, the woman is uh, sitting like that. They, be, they gotta be taken care of. So sister is taking care of them. Mm -hmm. And I met sister, we hugged each other, and this and that, and said, uh, uh, don't know what happened, we don't know where mother is. They went on, we know that group goes on, you know, they don't stop for nothing. This at night time they, they camp, next morning they keep on going. We're going towards Baghdad, Iraq, that's where the destination was. So every now and then I would go see sister, you know, we yeah. talk about uh, what happened to mother, but we had no idea where they went, uh, what happened, nothing, no communication, nowhere. The town, you couldn't see a piece of paper. We had the sheriff, anyway. So, so we were there, I don't know, a couple of years, because I remember going to the farm a couple of times in the summer. 